Well, hello everyone. This is Peter Brown, Pilot Picture Weather for the next seven days. Here we are heading in towards the official start of spring. Spring will be arriving at the start of next work week on Monday. So that's great news for those of us who want to chase winter out the door. Although here in the Burlington area, this past winter was one of the warmest and least snowiest on record. So we obviously got most of that winter weather in the past three weeks or so because January and February prior to that was very pleasant out there and we really kind of got smacked by surprise with winter these past couple of weeks. Now as we start our period on Friday we're going to be seeing temperatures about average for this time of the year up in the upper 40s to around 50. Going to be a little dreary out there so just keep that in mind. As we get towards the end of the period next Thursday we should see temperatures again in the fifth around 50 in the low 50s. Probably going to be a couple of degrees cooler than that as we're going to see a persistent easterly wind coming into the Burlington area as we get in towards the mid portions of next week. Of course, one thing to notice that really tells us that spring is definitely here. Of course, we turned the clocks ahead last weekend and now the sun is setting at almost 7 p.m. So a true sign of warmer weather and better times to come. So as we go ahead, let's take a look at what the Climate Prediction Center is calling for us here in the Burlington area in terms of temperatures and precipitation for the next seven days. Now looking at our temperature map, pretty typical for what we've been seeing over the past month or so. Average temperatures, I think we're actually going to be a little cooler than that. In my opinion, I think we're going to be a little bit cooler than our average highs, probably sticking more down in the low to mid 40s if we have a cool wind coming in off of the ocean. Now, looking at our precipitation chances, the Climate Protection Center is calling for us to have above average precipitation. I'm not quite sure where they're seeing that because it looks like it's going to be fairly dry out there for the next 7 to 10 days, which is some great news as we've had so much stormy weather and wet weather over the past couple of weeks. So as we go ahead, let's take a look at those seven days of weather coming up. And again, starting out our period on Friday, looks like we're going to be seeing, again, some dreary conditions out there, very cloudy, might have some light drizzle, probably closer, though, as you get towards the coast and south of the Burlington area. Temperatures only, again, in the upper 40s where they should be, but it's definitely going to feel very raw out there. However, as we get into the weekend, we're going to see that sun come back out, and we're going to see the temperatures actually fall Saturday into Sunday, especially as we get into Sunday. Sunday's going to have a real midwinter feel out there. It's going to be breezy, temperatures only in the mid-30s, even with that bright March sunshine out there. Then as we get in towards the start of the work week, those sunny conditions are going to continue. We're going to see our temperatures go up a little bit each day. We're going to see a couple of weak storm systems passing us by well to the south, and that's going to keep the general wind flow coming in off of the ocean. So if you're in Boston, it's going to be a pretty chilly week there with that wind coming in off of that cold ocean. Not quite as bad here in the Burlington area, but still couple of degrees below average, but it doesn't look like we're going to have anything really chilly or frigid out there. Just keep in mind, we're going to have some pretty cold mornings out there. So not time to start planting yet as we have those clear skies at night over the next few days or so. So everyone, get out there, enjoy the weather, and have a great week.